Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the MetaHuman as a third person character. Let's begin by creating a fresh new project. I'm going to choose third person and give it a name. Once open, I'm going to import a MetaHuman into my project. And then I'm going to open my MetaHuman. The first time I do this, I will need to enable all the missing settings and plugins and click restart. OK, with the engine restarted, I'm going to go to content, third person, blueprints and open up my third person blueprint alongside my MetaHuman. I'm going to go into the event graph and copy everything. But deselect event begin play. Do control C to copy and then control V to paste in the MetaHuman's event graph. I then connect the hair LOD setup output to cast to player controller input. I then go to class settings and find BP third person character our third person character blueprint. Hit compile. We now need to do some organizing in the components tree. Select body and this will select all its children and drag that onto mesh. And as you can see, everything is now a child of mesh. Then we need to remove this unused root. Just delete it. Now we're not quite there yet. And we have a few more changes to make. Select our actor and hit compile. And as you can see, we have an error. If we click here where it says target, we need to drag in mesh and connect it to target of get children components. Hit compile and you should have no further errors. Next, I select body and zero out the location and rotation. I'm coming down to LOD sync for the purposes of the tutorial and just setting my LOD to zero and click compile. Great. Right. Now we need to retarget the animations. So I come down here to variables, live retarget, use live retargeting mode, and I set the default value to use live target mode. Hit compile. And as you can see, our MetaHuman is now sharing animations. Click on Mesh, type in Viz in the Details panel, uncheck Visible, and make sure Always Tick and Refresh Bones is selected. If you have this problem where your arms are bent and the animations are not retargeting correctly, we can fix that very easily. Go to the Content Draw, go into Common, common inside the MetaHumans folder. And here we have various files. First, we want to duplicate this animation blueprint. So I'm going to right click and duplicate. And I'm going to give this a name. It is important that you remember this name. So name it something useful for you. I am going to name it RTG UE5 MH. Brilliant. Right, next I'm going to go to animation, retargeting and create an IK retargeter. And I'm going to give this a name. UE5 MH, I might put IK heart here so I remember it. And then I'm going to open up this IK retargeter. Here it is, completely blank. In source IK rig asset, I'm going to choose IK mannequin. And for the source preview mesh, I'm going to choose Quinn simple. Brilliant. Here's Quinn. Next, I'm going to go to target IK rig asset and choose IK metahuman. And in the target preview mesh, I'm going to choose my metahuman's body. In this case, F med normal weight. That's it. Next, we open up the animation blueprint we duplicated, come down to the anim graph 
and choose this retarget pose from mesh node and in IK retargeter asset choose the IK retargeter we just created. Hit compile and save and then go back to our MetaHuman blueprint. As you can see no change yet. We need to do one more step. Click on this live retarget setup function. Open it up. Go right to the end of the node tree to set retarget mode and class and this set anim instance class node here in under new class we're going to choose our new animation blueprint here it is rtg ue5 mh and then compile and that's it as you can see that has now fixed our retargeting let's try out our metahuman now as the third person i'm going to drag our metahuman blueprint into the scene in the details panel i'm going to type porn and search for auto possess player here and set this to player zero so now when i hit play our meta human is now our third person character you can now go away armed with this knowledge and be creative i hope you found it useful you can support the channel by clicking the thanks button underneath this video or alternatively you can head over to buymeacoffee.com and support me that way more tutorials are on the way, but for now, could you please give me a like and a subscribe? I will see you in the next one.